Ladies and gentlemen, um, boys and girls, it is day 506 on my journey to 2000 where I post the game of me playing chess every day on YouTube and uh, I track my progress on chess.com. Uh, I'm currently rated 1394 after a draw yesterday where I had really good execution in the opening and middle games. Um, had a really strong advantage going into the end game, but then uh, kind of lost it there. But three principles helped me get to that point. Developing before attacking, for the most part. Maintaining a time advantage was huge. And all, all trying to always think about what my opponent is going to do next. Seems simple, but it's harder for me. Um, it's actually hard for me to, to remember to do that sometimes. Not sure why. Maybe it just needs to become a habit if I do it more. On that note, let's see who I'm playing today. Ah, yes. Talastan. Talastan. Out of Russia. Karo Khan defense. We'll do... Development, good development so far. All their pieces are back there. Now I can pin. This. But let's just continue with development. Castle push. Get my castle, get my rook on this semi open file. Okay. Queen b6 attacking the pawn. Hunch is just B one because then if this this I can have Queen defend this pawn or this because it's just a natural move for this. Check, but I block. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna do this. Castle. How am I looking on time? I do not have a time advantage. So I'm gonna try and crank it up a little bit. Got some discovered attacks here. But let's finish. Finish castling, rook here, rook maybe here in the event that I uh, Let's do this, this, this. If this take, take. Deal, but not the worst thing either. Get 
getting rid of their bishop is probably a good thing. Let's castle. I just remember one of these games where they taking that pawn was actually, or that knight was actually okay if I recaptured with uh, with the H pawn. So now I'm thinking here. takes, then I take with check, and then I can take this one. They might, they might think they can take because if takes, then they grab this rook. So maybe they they won't see this uh, this check here that would allow me to capture. But the amount of time they're taking makes me think that they do see it. So, good job to my opponent. And let's just retreat back and prepare for hmm. this. And they come in here. So maybe I. Maybe I let them take this, take, take. It gets a good pawn structure and gives me the open file here. spend too much time thinking oh yeah can't spend too much time thinking about it so take with the queen or take with the pawn I think queen I'm not ready to break open these guys yet Expecting a castle soon. I think this is this square is going to be where it all goes down. blunder oh like pinning
I did not ask myself what my opponent was going to do there. I think I got lucky on that one. <laughs> think I got lucky on that exchange. My opponent did have some, I think bishop to c5 would have been a good counter to that. And this it didn't really, um, it's not really going to net anything for me that's super noteworthy, but it will allow me to get the open file. After this, 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 and then here. There's no way to defend against it. So this might mean this. And, okay. Yeah, but this, this means I would have to take because otherwise they have this. So I might need to... Okay, so now here, take, take, I still have the open file, which would be good. I can come up here. This and then this. Here. Here.
This would force this, and then I could come in here, target that. This and then this, targeting both of these. Okay, so now I've got this, this. Wait, no, this needs this, which means this attacking both. Okay. Let's do it. Here, taking this. Otherwise, taking this, soon to be this. If they move this, then I've got this. I do have to be careful of not getting my knight trapped though. So I've got a discovered attack. So if this, I could get my rook to safety, but I could also come here and win the knight or win the rook. Let's do that. I think that might be resignation, yeah. Yay, thank you for the game, Talisman. Let's check out the analysis here. On day 506, played with 89% accuracy. I had zero blunders, uh, one mistake, but two misses. Um, yeah, let's see, uh, let's see where this went. Karakhan mainline had it. I know this opening pretty well, I think. Um, the other move I was considering was, oh, castling. I didn't even, I didn't even consider letting them take. But then after this, this, and then I get the, uh, the rook on that side of the board. Then if they take here, then I take back, and then they move the knight to deep, whoops. They move, I can't move this, uh, they can go here. Yeah, they go here. I've just got more pressure on that on that side of the board with this 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 and stuff so I could see that um, but I, the the pawn to b3 wasn't a wasn't a bad move um, casting was a good move um, this is a position where I was thinking okay do I move my knight here um, I castled instead if I would have gone here. That would have been a good move, but uh, castling was better. Oops. And they made this mistake, which I did not see the right answer to. Um, I was okay with them taking the bishop, which wasn't the best thing to do. Um, but with this and then taking, it allowed me to take with check, and then I could, you know, grab the knight 
but they saw that and retreated, which was a good move, and then still left with this this bishop to move. A better way to play this would have been knight to h5, targeting this pawn, so that if takes, I take, and now I've got the open file here. Um, and let's see. If they would have, yeah, what's the, knight takes g7, this uh, move, so they've got to here. If this though, I still go here and, and get the king off the center. Um, if they castled, then I've got knight g5 targeting this. They go here, and then I've got check. If g7. I've got this check because if they take, then I've got bone. So there's so just getting more pieces up in that area prior to them castling, I think, is a good move. So takes, takes. It was even after that. <clears throat> Retreating back. I spent a lot of time on this move. What would I have thought? Only 30 seconds. They castled. And the game is dead even here um, until this mistake. Um, I think taking the queen was a miss. I was thinking they should do this, which was the best move. Um, because then I'd have to retreat and defend, and that would allow them to take. I could take back, but then they take, they take back, and they take, and then I can't take back, otherwise they've got this. So I got lucky with that one. Um, but after this sequence of moves, I felt like I had a more of an advantage uh, here than I actually did. I felt more confident than I probably should have because the game is completely dead even here. Which goes to show that I actually converted an endgame where it was a draw position going into it. So... Yay me. Um, yeah, good move. There's a mistake. I, the mistake was definitely blocking that in. Um, that the knight d2 move is a miss because I could have gone here and targeted that, forcing the, the rook over um, sooner. But I didn't see it. I had eyes on this square to target that. Uh, they knew I was going for that square, so they blocked it off. I went back and thought about another strategy, and that's when I moved the um, the rook to d7. They come over to defend, and there's the great move. And I take, and then I check, and I win the rook. So there you have it, folks. I'm back over 1,400 now. That game felt good. Um, I felt somewhat in control the entire time, even though there were Probably a couple, still a couple areas there where I should have asked what what would my opponent's next move be, because after after I made the move, I saw the best move immediately. So in my head, I should probably have just thought, okay, let's pretend this is the move I'm making. <laughs> what can my opponent do? Um, but we'll see if I get better using this. Trying to trying to get that more of a habit. Until next time.